Minecraft has problems. Like, why can't you actually use the tools on the side of a crafting table? And that's a great question, and exactly the point I'm trying to make. If we take a closer look at a crafting... If we take a closer look at a crafting table, you will in fact notice that there are tools on the side. We've got a hammer, a saw, another hammer, another saw, and then a pair of scissors and another pair of scissors. The question is, how do we get our greedy little paws on these forbidden items? Well, it's simple. It's leg day. So we just gotta lift with our legs and just crouch. You just gotta shake them off. Come on. Oh God, these are, these are really glued on there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Those are really, really stuck on there. What do they have? Gorilla glue? No, 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 okay. Uh, maybe I thought it was, <laughs> as you can see, we have a crafting table, but with no tools. And if I place this down, you can see there are in fact no tools. And if we grab an item like some wood, I have a feeling the tools on the side of the crafting table are probably very important. After all, how do you expect to craft anything without a pair of tools, am I right? <laughs> and let's see, we've got our row of planks and cra- nope, nope. And craft. Nope, that's right. It's not a crafting table anymore. It's just the table. That's okay. We could just we could just get rid of this. And now that we have our greedy little mittens on these tools, what exactly do they do? I think it would be very cool if these are kind of OP items. I mean, that's why they're forbidden. They're meant to be creatively obtained. And that's why for the hammer, I've given it the ability to push and pull blocks at a whim. That's right. You can pull blocks and defy gravity without having to break them. This is an amazing ability. I think this would be incredible for creative mode. Let me just show an example. I'm just gonna put our stuff inside and I don't even have to break the chest to move it anymore Because I can just push and pull it. Is that not awesome? Bon voyage. <laughs> oh, he screamed. But what about the saw? Well, I'm glad you asked. The saw is incredibly handy. I'm looking for one of those really annoying trees uh Instead of having to worry about breaking an entire tree down one by one, you could just break the entire tree. Now, this is not necessarily a new mechanic in the modding world, but you know what is? The ability to just break down a block with the saw and then chop the tree down. But what about the scissors? I've actually given the scissors a bunch of different forms of functionality. For example, if we grab our... If we grab TNT and a flint and steel and do something crazy like light it, you can use the scissors to cut the fuse. And that's only one of many great pieces of functionality. But that's not all. If we were to do something crazy like spawn a pillager. Well, hey there, Mr. Pillager. That's a fancy looking banner and crossbow you have there. I'm just going to use these scissors. Can you stop? I'm trying. You know what? I'm just going to take that right out of your hands. <laughs> okay. And then the banner too. Yeah, you're being... You're being... Bro! Now that I've gotten all of your stuff, I'm just going to... I don't... I don't know. Just like kill you, I guess. I'm gonna, not, yep. Yep, yep. You could chop off the armor and tools off of mobs, which is just a really, really cool piece of functionality. I still died though. But you know what's crazy? In Minecraft, the crafting table isn't the only one with tools on the side. The smithing table also has tools on the side. Look, we've got drumsticks and one of those things that doctors use to listen to your heartbeat. <laughs> Just gonna get, there we go. We got our drumsticks and we got our netherite tongs now. As for the drumsticks, I, for one, think Minecraft could definitely use more instruments other than just uh, the note block. And besides, we have so many awesome sounds to use. So we added left click and right click functionality to the drumsticks so that you can actually play the drumsticks. And that, of course, leaves us with the netherite tongs. It took me a while to decide what the netherite tongs could actually do. But then I decided, why not allow me to just literally pick up entities like it's a tong and then just put them where they need to go. I'm going to put this guy with the gold. <laughs> but why put pillagers in there when I can bring the golem to them? Are you just not able to like get it? There we go. Don't worry, guys. I got him. I got him for you. There you go. The golem's taking enough of a beating, so I'm just going <laughs> to drop him. But that only solves one of the many problems that we're going to solve in this video, which brings us to our next problem. There aren't enough bosses in Minecraft, and I couldn't agree more, which is why if you take a bundle and you give it a bunch of emerald and you give it to a villager, come here, stop running, stop Hey, that is how you get the villager boss, otherwise known as the chief emerald officer. Look at him. Oh, he's so handsome. He's got a cane and he's thinking bread price controls. Wow. This is a villager that is in charge of the entire village and he thinks of many ways to increase the value of said village. Oh, he's thinking. 
torch curfew. Uh, ah, Ryan, right, turn off the lights. That smirk tells me that you're here to scam people, aren't you? More emeralds. You know what? I couldn't agree more. With this new update, all of the villagers in the village are now working together to increase the value of the village. For example, I need someone to trade with. All right. If we were to hypothetically trade with this villager now, you'll notice he will actually run to the boss and give him the emeralds that he just earned. And successfully traded. And that increases the market value of the village. Let's actually see how we're doing. Oh, look at that. It's the MK village. You go ahead and create more chief emerald officers, which by the way, you'll notice there's a villager celebration whenever you hire one. Congrats, you're being promoted. It's just a good time. You guys... Yeah, you don't get hired, sorry. Yeah. As you can see, they are all thinking of ways to independently increase the value of their village, but we have random name generation. So the kingdom of no Wi-Fi, land of the noses. I, I think I can, I think I understand why. But let's go back to our main village, uh, the MK village. As you may have noticed by now, we do actually have a stock tracker. You could see the value of the village live in real time. Anytime the villagers bring them emeralds, the value will go up. But also, it is entirely dictated by the value of fish, potatoes, bones. You can see rails are currently down in value, but pork is on the rise. And that's all good and well, but there's one thing that can bring down any company. And if we just go ahead and get a potion of uh, bad publicity, you can see, in fact, that is, that is a new effect that we added. So if we go ahead and give our villager chief emerald officer some bad publicity, you can see he is now a target of the state and the villagers are, in fact, chasing them to one by one dismantle the establishment. And once it's finally said and done, they celebrate because the town has been saved from bad publicity. Guys, hey, I've got great news. Uh, this guy's getting promoted. Um, the kingdom of no Wi-Fi. I'm not liking your ideas, sir. Get them, boys. Let's get them out of here. We need Wi-Fi. I can't put my head in the furnace. No, bionic cow, I suppose you can't. That is unless you craft a... a magnifying glass. As you can see, I can use the magnifying glass to right click and put my head inside of the furnace. And then I, and how do I, and then I can get right back out. What's inside? What's cooking? I don't know. Let's find out. Also, there is another use if you right click. But if you go into survival mode and you right click, then, well, you go inside of the furnace. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what happens if you're actually cooking something within the furnace. All right, as you may have noticed, we have raw beef cooking in our furnace. So let's use our brand new magnifying glass of mystery and let's investigate. Oh my, I, I didn't mean to teleport out of there. Oh my God, I'm on fire and I, help, help. I guess the answer is me. I'm cooking good looking. Minecraft has 50 different arrows and not a single one of them is an arrow of water. I couldn't think of a way to actually obtain the arrow. Is what I would be saying if I didn't do this. What? Wow. Oh, no way. Well, uh, let's just give this arrow of water. That is hard to say. What? Arrow of water. Arrow of water. Arrow. Um. Here we go. I guess it doesn't actually put out the the arrow, but no, nah, but like actually what if your house was on fire? I feel like an arrow of water would actually be incredibly useful. You just might need a lot of them. Well, that is why we have added a brand new enchantment called extinguishing. All right, let's start with uh, extinguishing one, shall we? With the help of the brand new extinguishing enchantment, you can indeed extinguish fire. Look at that. It sends out a little water wave. Is that not amazing? But if we go ahead and grab another bow and enchant it with something even higher like i don't know level four or something you can see that in fact the radius of effect is even further it's not really great in 3d space though because oh wait it is wow look at that oh it's so sick all right yeah i think we saved the day there um that woodland mansion has never looked better I ran into some bugs while coding this, uh, and so I turned it into a game rule because I thought it was very cool. Um, so as you can, uh, okay, let's just shoot an arrow, and then you'll see that that arrow bounces, and that creates more arrows that starts bouncing. And with that, we are basically simulating rain. Look, it's like a little rain droplet. I don't think I've ever seen an effect like this in Minecraft, so I did it first. <laughs> Subscribe. Along with the extinguishing enchantment, I also added another enchantment called sourcing. And if we add that to our bow and 
shoot an arrow of water, you can see that a source of water is created. Um, it's really not that useful, but it does work. But hold on, if we were to do something crazy, like put infinity and sourcing on the bow, and then we shoot the arrow, you can see that now it's just infinitely creating sources of water. Aquaman would be proud. And if we turn on the game rule, arrow fountains, let's just shoot some arrows and just see what happens. Oh, oh. Oh Lord, oh no, why is it going up like that? I don't know. Look, I'm terraforming with water. I'm a water bender. It's so laggy though. Oh, I don't want to be a water bender anymore. I don't actually know if this works in the nether. So uh, let's find out that sounds awesome. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna like shoot at the lava here. Whoa, that's a fun way to travel around the nether using arrows. Oh, game roll, arrow fountains, true. <laughs> There we go, yep, there we go, nice. Whoa, that's crazy, no way. I can't understand what villagers are saying. What do they want? What do they need? I need answers. No, that's great, honestly, because their passive aggressive remarks like the hmms and herms aren't getting us anywhere. So let's spawn a villager and grab a crafting table and maybe a piece of wool and a stick. Let's get crafting and see what they have to say. If you combine this combination, you get a chat stick. Hey, Mr. Villager, Mr. Villager, care to comment? What do you have to say, huh? The Iron Golem and I have a silent agreement. I'll ignore his existence and he'll ignore my life choices. God, you, you really are a little passive aggressive, huh? What else do you have to say? Care to comment? I'm not a fan of the new villager. They're too cheerful. There's no new villager. Are, are you talking about me? This person also said that they wanted the ability to talk to animals. And you know, honestly, I couldn't agree more. Uh, so this is Moo, Moo Moo, okay, yeah. Moo Moo Choo Moo, okay, nice. Uh, what about the sheep? Maybe the sheep have something else. Bah, pig. Oink. For now, let's actually hop over to the village and interview these uh, these villagers. Hello, sir. Care to comment about the other villagers or your time here in this village? I'm running on three hours of sleep and a handful of berries. Do not approach. I'm so sorry, sir. What about the iron golem? The only reason I leave my house is for more coffee. I'm just waiting for the day I can retire and live off a single melon farm. Aren't we all? You should talk to my friend Rec Rap. Uh, tell Flick me. I would have thought the cats had more to more like knowledge. Uh, chicken. Cluck, cluck, scratch. Oh, a bee. Blip, blip, blink, blink, blink. Okay. I really want to know what other mobs have to say. Like, surely a witch would have some juicy gossip. I'm so over it. The sun, the heat, the constant need to shoot. Wow. What about the people of the end dimension? Do you have anything to say? Care to comment? I'm so over it. The constant teleporting, the constant need to scream. It's exhausting. No, I, I, yeah. Now, I don't know if the ender dragon can actually comment. I'm pretty sure every mob has something to say. Okay. But hang on a minute. What if you could read their minds? In order to do something crazy like that, we are going to need quite a lot of items, starting with a couple of golden ingots. We're gonna need some note blocks, maybe even some copper ingots, and of course, one iron ingot. And with all of that, if we take our crafting table and we put these note blocks here, we put the iron ingot there, copper ingots there, boom and boom. Uh, I think we need glass. Let's try that again. There and then and then. A talkie blocky. So there's our talkie blocky. And you can right click it to change the channel. The way this works is it detects a frequency of mobs around and translates their thoughts. Not only can we figure out what villagers are saying, but we can actually hopefully understand animals. And I did actually add a game rule that allows us to see the radio signals. So you can actually see the detection radius. Any mobs that are within this radius that are on the frequency, we should be able to hear their thoughts right in the center of the village. Okay, any villagers, let's make sure we are on the villager channel, we'll be able to hear their thoughts uh, any day now, guys. Hey, you, get in the boat. Yeah, yeah, nice. Any minute now? Someone's been skimming emeralds. Did you hear that? Come here. Yeah, yeah, Villager hey. Villager taxes went up again. Give me Tragic. all of your emeralds. This is a robbery. Oh Give my God! What? Your emeralds. Bro, what? this is a robbery. What? Okay, let's uh, let's go into a flat world here and experiment with this. So if we grab a couple of villager spawn eggs and place this down, make sure we are on the correct signal. Now, if you do add multiple, you can hear all Give of their thoughts. All of your emeralds. My this is a robbery. Sponsored by Google Maps Beta. What? 
Uh, I can't understand anything! You guys are monsters! What are you thinking about right now? Yeet! Uh, yeet? <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to figure out what these animals are actually thinking once and for all. We've got a cow, a pig, a chicken, and a sheep. Let's set it to cow mode. A moo. A moo? Moo. 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 Uh-huh. I'm gonna be honest, this is... Move. Th this isn't really going anywhere. How about the sheep? Ba I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Stop that. Ba no. Onk. Onk. Alright, villager, 30. 